Stars is up at 3.24.2, just dropped into Evo Cotty, and of course, we got the leaks. Let's talk. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for D Drake Cut. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of September. Let's continue. All right, guys, um, super exciting times. As CIG said, starts off at 3.24.2 will drop this weekend. Tonight, it did drop to Evo Cotty, and of course, we got our hands on the leaks. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through some of the leaks that they found thus far um and um i'm going to be reacting to them as you're watching this right now so let's get straight into it all right so um the zeus is not in yet but the new mfds are in this build for some reason they decided not to drop the patch notes for this so we're gonna go based on what uh the pipeline discord channel finds through data mining the game files so uh, that's what we're going to go through here so the main menu music is different and it's from the um star engine uh video so we're gonna have new music and it seems like we're probably gonna have a new screen ui um new hairstyles are also in as well so that's going to be nice what they found was uh the game size difference uh between um well, in terms of changes, it's 44 gigs worth of changes in this build as opposed to starts and off with 3.24.1. So quite a bit of things that they've changed and um, hopefully um, we see this very soon. So now in terms of spaceships, it seems like they found a, a new spaceship possibly under the mist category called Fortune, right? So um, there may be a possibility that we may see a new mist ship coming so now fortune based on um the the wording of it it's it's going to be a money maker of course so my suspicion is this is probably going to be a manufacturing vessel so a crafting based vessel i think because right now misc has refuelers they have the expanse the refinery the miner and the only thing that's left is manufacturing actually crafting and putting things together so i think the fortune will be the missing piece in the misc ecosystem and um yeah that's my guess so you guys let me know your thoughts on that if uh, you guys think it's going to be something else all right um so the very next thing is going to be it seems like there's going to be a mark 2 f7 cm super hornet for um yeah so the uh super corner version of the mach 2 is also going to be in so that's going to be nice so now um it seems that they're also finding um game files pertaining to formation flying so um it says here uh formation flying available disengage engage leaving uh join formation and then it says press so that means that the player will be able to the, a group of players would be able to i'm sure there'll be a, a person that would lead it like a party leader and all the party members will then be able to press a button once it's engaged by the party leader and then the ship will probably automatically follow that individual based on the formation that they set that's my guess right um it continues to say to join formation also in terms of movement um, which is an action i'm not sure if this is ai i think this has also has to do with uh players so that's going to be interesting match formation position and velocity to join formation and that's a notification so that's going to be the players so we're going to be able to do formations in the game that's going to be pretty cool to see that's really interesting up next is going to be night vision equipment all right so the first piece here says um hint weapon abs active activate night vision it says uh, you can activate light amplification by pressing the action player button so it's going to be a key bind that you would be able to press to activate night vision on a particular scope so now the optic attachment it says light amplification and um weapon ads activation zoom body you can switch to zoom levels by pressing uh said key bind okay so um, yeah, so we're going to have different optics that can, that has different zoom levels that also supports night vision. So that's going to be pretty cool. All right. So now it says here next is going to be industrial guild. All right. 
So that's going to be interesting. Industrial growth. So what is this? It says uh, to be determined essentially, but there is going to be an industrial guild. Um, industrial guild. That goes that goes along with the missed fortune because the industrial guild. That means they're they're going to be building, right? There's there's there is. Oh, I know what this is. CIG um, made uh, the notion that there will be mission types coming in the future, similar to the cargo missions, but for mining. So though there will be mission givers that will give us missions to go and source out certain materials through mining or to buying, buying it or sourcing it out through other means as long as you can get it. And so mining is going to be one of those ones where you get a mission to go and mine a certain material and bring it in. So I think that's what this industrial guild that they're going to be added here would be. It says United Resource Workers. That's it seems like that's probably the name of the guild. So that's going to be interesting as well. All right. So now it says here um, maps, tool, tip, jump tunnel. It says you can't set routes inside jump tunnel. Interesting. There's really code based uh, for the jump gates. It looks like here. It says Pyro 4 Outpost Info Text. Pyro information in this build? What? <laughs> what? What are they trying to sneak in? All right. So it says here um, Outpost uh, Call M Trade Post Indie. Um, by the way, these are game file names. These are XMLs. Um, and these are things that I'm trying to read, trying to extrapolate. Uh, uh, some meaningful information out of it. So, um, uh, please excuse me if I'm just reading. So it says here, new Anis and uh, description, new Anis. What is that? Uh, maybe a new planet could be Pyro for outpost. So that's, yeah, this is probably an outpost on a planet that they're adding, but there's Pyro. Pyro is already in the build but we're probably not gonna have access to it yet interesting which makes sense because the very next patch after this one should be 4.0 so i'm sure they're they're prepping pyro as we continue all right it says a tiny non uh decrypt outpost researching subterranean effects of pyro's unstable solar activity so would this be an outpost that is primarily underground similar to um what's that one that they removed um you guys know what the one i'm talking about we had this uh this uh uh it's like an asteroid that an asteroid base that we would go to um that they removed out of out of stanton you guys know which one i'm talking about all right so now resource network panel text all right um hmm so now we've already seen a little bit about those resource man um networks we, we've heard it we've gotten a chance to even test it in the um arena commander so um this is not too surprising of information so i'm not really going to delve too much into it but um as we can expect resource network stuff is also going to be in here um in terms of you know controlling doors um fires fire detection coolers cooler failures all of that is here life support not installed interesting life support is not installed that's interesting problem detected okay uh power management distribution controls hmm try to find some meaningful stuff here um overheat auto shut off interesting it's going to be interesting business network is going to be interesting engineering gameplay is going to be super interesting i'm really excited about that all right, next is going to be Science Guild. Interesting. And the name is going to be Academy of Science. So I wonder what kind of gameplay could we see from this? I suspect we'll probably get a mission giver that will be sending us out to various locations to source out certain certain things like um, uh, go to this planet and find this plant and give me this fruit of this plant, right? Because there's already, there's already um, uh, flora on the planets that actually have fruit that we can grab so i suspect that's uh something uh something that we may see as well as new gameplay mechanics like maybe a tool that they could give us that will probably scan certain objects on planets that we may need to go do um a little bit of a, a exploration gameplay as well there so 
we'll have to see we'll have to see and um next it says a sport guild and it says imperial sports federation so maybe more racing a guild for racing to be honest i've been really tried the racing stuff recently so that's gonna be interesting <laughs> somebody mentioned sad about all right next the argo doris tractor beam interesting it says argo um astronomics uh tractor beam max angle is 60 degrees and uh, max range is 150 meters that's pretty far uh full strength uh distance is 75 meters per uh i guess per second maybe um i'm not i don't think meters per n not sure what that means made specifically for the atlas power suit the doris tractor beam from argo uh, astronomics has been carefully tuned for loading and unloading so remember when i did a video pertaining to the atlas i i i, I assumed that cig will be having modules that will be able to attach and de detach it seems like this is going to be one uh, another type of tractor beam that um hopefully it behaves a little bit different and has a little bit of a um uh, uh function as opposed to the current tractor beam on the atlas hopefully there's a little bit of a difference there um but that's going to be interesting to be able to modify our suits i'm really looking forward to the other types of suits as well next here it says atlas tractor beam box moving on other beams all right so it says here great cat industrial tractor beam max angle uh backed by their certified soft touch guaranteed great cat Sugar tractor beam is mainstay of its product catalog thanks to its dependable range and control this q model includes a special quick um placement mode to assist with transfer of cargo hmm so maybe a gray cat also a gray cat beam as well so I'm, I'm really curious to see the differences between the different tractor beams uh that would be interesting to see all right, so now next is jump modules. It seems that they're adding jump modules finally into the game, which are going to be needed for the next major patch. So it says here, um, the Taurus jump module called the Taurus, I guess, grade C and it's civilian journey across the verse with the Taurus Explorer jump module, um, offering greater reliability to help take your um wander lust to new heights that's going to be interesting the next one seen okay so it's a jump uh module taurus it's also a taurus it's, this is the same thing all right so let me see let me see here if there's this is the same thing it's just repeating the same thing all right so that's interesting we're going to be seeing jump modules in the game now um quick placement cargo mode oh so now the functionality that the Atlas has to be able to place automatically um, might be something they're going to add to probably other tractor beams, it seems like. I think it's going to be something that you can toggle on and off. And I think that would be really good if they give us that the functionality um, to the other tractor beams as well. Um, but there's a lot of uh, life support stuff here as well, um, which we already uh, are familiar with. Oh, uh, that's going to be coming with the uh, engineering gameplay. So next here, it says hover trolley. It says uh, this utility hand truck makes crack carting heavy loads much easier. I wonder, is it really going to be that useful if we have the Atlas being able to move things so quickly? Is it going to be worth even using these trolleys? I'm curious. OK, so next here, it says clothing items. All right um carrying capacity 0.4k uh, micro scu be ready to take on whatever the day brings when wearing a navoid this unique uh piece integrated integrates the pants perfectly into the knee high boots uh made from a combination of synthetic material to be tough yet comfortable and then the navoid also comes with uh, shin pads and pouch straps onto each leg so i think 
and there's going to be a glove there's going to be a jacket and there's also going to be a mask i think these new clothing items might be the ones that are going to be modular where you can actually attach and detach pouches and uh, to further customize them based on your needs um i cannot wait to be able to attach you attach my um assault rifles and, and things like that to our uh regular clothes instead of just our flight suits i think uh it's been very long overdue all right um hmm star kid and stuff so it seems like um there's going to be a mirai racing suit that's interesting origin racing suit mirai cup racing suits star kidding <laughs> racing suits all right that's interesting so these are probably going to be from the the, the uh, subscriber store possibly mirai racing gloves citizen kong goodies pack flight suit it's also going to be in it the p8 arc i believe this is a semi-automatic um rifle that we've seen from the citizen con uh demo it says here uh uh this magazine for the baron p8rc rifle comes preloaded with 15 rounds so 15 rounds semi-automatic interesting hmm interesting all right so different colors for the citizen con suits will also be in item dispensers printing ready resetting restocking please take item what is this item dispenser so this this alludes to crafting i think it looks like we're going to be doing a little bit more crafting this patch possibly um epoxy genite looks like a probably a, a new ore a commodity item it says here also commonly known as txa um trifold explosive accelerant epoxy genite is an odorless and tasteless chemical active used in actively used in production of explosives and in various industrial processes energetic and highly brisant epoxygenite is an oxygen rich accelerant that is often used to more stable elements to increase their reaction rate their reaction rate hmm interesting what is this going to be used for all right next it says repair missions so we've seen a little bit of this uh in one of the most recent inside star citizen it says um here uh repair description it says my ship has been broken down at mission location please help me so this is what a mission will look like fix a broken um ship will be your objective uh repair ship broken down go to location so this is a repair mission that looks like we're going to be getting please bring and also says here actually it says here a mission is here need to be repaired please bring fuses along with you to repair the broken relays interesting that's nice that's nice a new career path is, is opening up um it also has more information here it says replace fuses in relay uh repair pipes charge batteries repair location we need repairs replace fuses in relays um we've read through all that already so that's just a repeat so that's going to be interesting repair repair careers okay um shop name lawless ship dealer so there's going to be a lawless ship dealer oh do you know what this could possibly mean a lawless ship dealer could be a location where you can go and sell your ship and also buy other ships hmm because why else would there be a lawless ship dealer to buy ships that are um that kind of looks like the ones that we see in pyro like partly broken ships maybe I'm, I'm really curious what this is going to be about a lawless ship dealer that's going to be interesting i'm curious to see all right so now it says new customer customizer new character customizer options it says here um eyebrows 
uh, left ear, mouth, nose. We've seen all this piercings and stuff like that and tattoos. We've seen all this. Seems like they're going to give us new voice lines, possibly. New voice lines. Our characters don't speak. Are they going to make our characters speak? That's going to be interesting. That's interesting. Our characters are going to... Maybe we can do emotes and our characters will speak when we do the emotes. All right. Next, it says Crusader Discovery Tours um, pertaining to map. It says view map, download map, download area map, Crusader Discovery Tours. So we'll be able to download maps in the game. That's interesting. That's interesting. Okay. 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 The new MFDs are looking awesome. Okay. 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 Interesting. All right. All right. So looking through, give me a second guys. All right. So now they found some more information in the game files. It says great cat CAV. What is that? Great cat CAV grin CAV fragments. It says here. And um, there's a door driver and there's a passenger door as well. Interesting. <laughs> a new gray cat vehicle. We'll have to see what that is. Um, that's interesting. Okay. All right. All right. So so far that is all we're going to cover so far um i will be doing more videos on this on these leaked videos uh make sure to like make sure to subscribe um before i let you go i'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one industry is now recruiting new and better players if you're interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one